<laughs> no, no. Ladies, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen. I'm pretty sure we can... Look, Brendan Kun, you and the guys can't be over here because it's a girls only slumber party. You had Afmao and Nicole come over to our place disguised as guys. Because of them, our place was invaded by ponies. The, mm, they ate all the pizza and got us in trouble with the neighbors. Not only that, but they're still partying. One of them wouldn't leave me alone and I was starting to feel uncomfortable. Hey, you guys did it to us first. You came here disguised as girls and stole our food. The Kawaii-chan spent so much money on that food. It was Kawaii-chan's first time ordering pizza and she never got to taste any. <laughs> you horrible boys. It was going to be her first time eating pizza. My house is trash and I might not have anywhere to live after that pony invasion and you girls are worried about tasting pizza for the first time? I don't know, man. Pizza is pretty darn important. I'm with Lawrence on this one. What have we done? <laughs> what? Ladies, gentlemen, I have a solution to this problem. Uh, where have you been, Caitlin? We'll have a co-ed what? A co-ed sleepover? But Caitlin, senpai, they're boys. That's not a... Kawaii-chan, we did ruin Brendan's place and we must take responsibility for that. All he wanted was acceptance from us. I'm pretty sure if the boys wanted to be gross, they would have done much more than just steal pizza from us. <laughs> she has a point. Come on, Kawaii-chan. I can sense their intentions are pure. They just want to have fun. Now, boys, you're all welcome to join our slumber party, but when it's time for bed, you're all sleeping downstairs. Deal? I don't see how that's a bad thing, honestly. And if I catch you just looking at the stairs during lights out, I will kill you all to death. God, wait, kill- That doesn't make any sense, Caitlin! But I think I get exactly what you're saying. And the point seems to have gotten across. Um, if Caitlin Senpai is here, Afma is here too, so Kawaii-chan guesses it's okay. But, but what are we gonna do for games? Um, I wasn't- Oh, I- No, Nicole, no! Yes, no! I mean, no! Not yes, but no. Yes to no. Nicole, you are the primary reason why any of the events tonight have even ha- Yes, you are. Actually, Nicole, you kind of left the elements of happiness in the boys' house causing the ponies to attack, so... Yeah, I I'm just putting that out there. Uh, yeah, okay, but that's it. Um, I'm gonna go look online for ideas for the party. Be right back. Oh, Kiki, can you come help me? Alright. Hmm? Oh, in the meantime, you guys can enjoy some nice drinks and cakes and stuff. Alright. That sounds like a really chill time. We'll just relax until you guys figure out what to do for a game and uh, all tensions will just be calm. So yeah, let's just enjoy the night. How about that? Come on. <sighs> okay, that situation diffused rather nicely. <sighs> I'm gonna have to thank Caitlin for that. I just... Oh my goodness, just trying to get Kawaii-chan to calm down after her freaking out when the boy showed up is just... Ugh. And the ponies attack- I can't believe Nicole did that to them and left the elements of happiness in the boy's house. <laughs> okay, alright, just I need to calm down and just enjoy the party for what it is for right now. I know that we're gonna be perfectly fine. Caitlyn has pretty much threatened everybody in the house, so it should be fine. Yeah, we should be good. Um, speaking of which, Caitlyn, um, thank you for before. Kawaii-chan really looks too deeply into things. Now that I can say much about the other ladies as well, I think they misinterpret Brendan's naive nature as creepy. Mm. Oh, Caitlin, I mean, how do you know he's not, like, being secretly creepy? <laughs> well, I am the older sister to four brothers. I also have an older brother as well, but he left a long time ago. When I was much younger, I took care of my younger brothers until our mom- Uh, yeah. Now isn't the time to get into that kind of stuff. What I'm trying to say is, I can tell Brendan means well and has pure intentions. The problem is, they are too pure and come off as creepy. I, I guess, I mean, some people who can't really- who mean well can't really convey exactly what they're thinking. I mean, sometimes I come off as creepy, but- <laughs> I, I see. Just don't think too much into his actions, and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you've had more ex I guess 
Yeah, how old are you? Well, you know what? Let's not, I'm not even going to ask you any of those kinds of questions. Just thank you, Caitlin, for being awesome. Uh, hmm. Cadenza. I kind of want to leave her alone, but at the same time, I kind of want to ask her what's going on. Should I ask her? I feel like it's going to get me in more trouble. Oh, well. Uh, hey, Cadenza. What's on your mind? Hmm? Oh, I was hoping someone would ask. <laughs> well, you know how the boys put on those ladies' clothes before? Well, I was wondering if they wouldn't mind me making some lady clothes for them that are actually nice and suited for their masculine body form, but at the same time fashionable enough that even I would wear it. I mean, I feel weird asking them, but I don't know. It's just their clothes from before were so tacky that it bothered me. Uh, <laughs> is that seriously all you can think about? How tacky their clothes were? I'm pretty sure they weren't even trying. I'm pretty sure they went to like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, I, I don't know, like, like their mom's closet or something. I mean, not to say that their moms are tacky, but I'm sure they went to like some kind of weird closet and just, you know, grabbed a bunch of stuff and threw it on. I don't think they really cared about what they looked like. They just wanted to get the job done, but yeah, don't think too much into it. You know what? Take advice. Don't think too much into it, Cadenza. Just don't. Uh, ooh. Ooh, what smells so good? Beep. 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 Wait. What are you doing? <laughs> what does it look like? Kawaii chan is making popcorn. Oh. Oh! That's what the beeping is for, for the microwave. Um. I really have to ask you, Kawaii chan was that gonna be your first time actually eating pizza for the very first time? Or were you just saying that so you could make the boys feel bad? Be honest with me. Huh? Oh yes! It was going to be the first time I've ever eaten pizza or hot wings. Aww! I mean, Kawaii-chan really just lives off sweets, you know? Wh what? Really? Yep. Kawaii-chan just needs a healthy balance of chocolate, cakes, and cookies. Oh, we can't forget milk! Well, first off, how do you manage to keep your figure, your figure, your figure, I said it like that. How do you manage to keep your figure all like that and manage to, because I want to do that. But how do you, seriously, how do you even manage that? You never noticed? <laughs> well, first off, look at me. Kawaii-chan is a cat girl. Haven't you ever wondered about my ears and ta- Um, it's just, um, I thought, I mean, don't you- need vegetables and stuff to live? <laughs> gotcha! Of course Kawaii-chan eats other foods too, but Kawaii-chan mostly tries to stick to foods that are super sweet because they're Kawaii-chan's favorites! <laughs> Say, are you nervous about the games Emelyn and Kiki are planning on having us play? What? I mean, no, I'm assuming they're gonna be regular slumber party games, but should I be concerned for any reason? Um, n no, it's just, what if they make us play that bottle game, or make us tell the truth, or take a dare? Kawaii-chan can't do those kinds of things because she can't bring herself to lie, and she doesn't want to be seen as a coward for not accepting the dare. Eh, what does Kawaii-chan do, Akmao senpai Well, first off, I'd like to point out the fact that you just attempted to lie to me by, um, telling me that you ate sweets all the time. So... I don't think you will have a hard time doing that kind of thing, but honestly, if you don't feel comfortable doing something that they ask you to do, just tell them that you're not comfortable with it and bow up politely. I mean, it's better than lying and making you do something uncomfortable that you're gonna regret later, right? Uh, Mouse senpai is right. If Kawaii-chan gets asked to do something she doesn't want to do, she will not do it. You're the best! Kawaii-chan could kiss you! Whoa. 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 How about you just make me some awesome cookies, and we'll call it even. I mean, I don't mind kiss on a cheek or anything, but yeah, just just make me some cookies, because I like cookies. Ah, deal. Kawaii-chan feels so much more confident after talking to you, senpai. Now, Kawaii-chan is going to finish making this popcorn, and then she'll make those cookies for you, and then she'll be brave and join the sleepover activities. Yay! <laughs> you could... You you go, Kawaii Chan. You you really you do your thing. You do it. You 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 got Caitlyn. You got me. You should be fine. I don't think that you're gonna have any problem doing any game that Emelyn or um, Kiki can come up with. Even I know they're both on the computer. Uh, Nicole. Oh, 
Nicole, what are you doing over here? I don't understand. She's blushing red. I feel like I should really leave her alone. But I'm gonna ask her what's going on. Nicole! Ah! Afma! Uh, um, I wasn't looking at the boys or anything! You're being really creepy, but I never said that you were. Honestly, you could just be watching the movie from behind the couch. I don't understand what... Huh? Uh, oh, right! <laughs> I mean, why would you ever even accuse me of something like that? My god, Afma, you're so nosy! You know but that by talking that loud, you're kind of just accusing yourself? You're right. Fine, I was checking out someone. Is... wait. Is that why you help the boys? Do you... Do you like Lawrence? M maybe. I thought that maybe if I worked with Lawrence to pull a cool prank, Dante would think I was cool. Even if Dante didn't think I was cool, then maybe he would be jealous because I was talking with Lawrence. Wait, what? Did... Dante? She blushes. I've always really liked Dante, but we don't really talk a lot. He's a quiet guy, and he seems like he would prefer someone more ladylike. I, I know I can be that. I'm... I know I can't be that, and I'm not too keen on changing myself to be with him, nor do I expect him to change for me, but... I don't know. I feel like if I have the chance to show him who I am, then maybe he'll give me a chance. What? Wait, what? Uh, why don't you just stop involving me and go tell him how you feel? Uh, I'm sorry, Afmao. Though I am brave in many aspects, I just can't bring myself to be that forward. Hmm. Do you think Caitlyn would do it for me? What? What? No. Wait a minute. She's not involving me. Um, Caitlyn doesn't play around. I'm sure you could go ask her and not me. That'd be great. Exactly. Caitlyn gets right to the point. Also, do you realize she's a Pugilist like me too? She has the Fire Fist and I have the Iron Fist. We're practically sisters. I'm sure she'll tell Dante for me. No, you can tell him yourself. <laughs> Please, Caitlyn. You're so smart and beautiful and strong. You are too, Nicole. You can do it yourself. Caitlyn. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go in the... What was that? That looked so weird. I, was that a bird that just flew into the house? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I kind of knew exactly that she was going to say no. So, yeah, you guys can talk it out, practically, sisters. And I'm going to go inside and just, yeah, do my own thing. What are you... Are you guys watching the, the ponies again? Uh, I mean, not again. Do you, what, are you, what are you guys doing? So funny how things worked out, eh? <laughs> Lawrence, I think this is crazy. Meh. We've been through crazier things. I'm just getting really tired at this point. It's bad enough that our place is being overrun by ponies, but now I'm actually watching this dumb show, and I hate to say this, but it's kind of okay. The yellow pony reminds me of Garth. <laughs> We can't change the channel. We've tried, but it's like this TV is possessed with ponies. What is with the ponies? I don't understand. Why would Kelly can put this stuff on? Ugh. I'm trying to explain to these guys here the premise of this show and how the ponies each represent one of the elements of happiness. Each pony has their own distinctive traits. For example, Twilight Sprinkles. No, wait, stop. I've heard enough and seen enough. I don't need any more of this. I'm gonna stop you right there, Brendan. Oh, right. Sorry. Kiki really loves this show, ponies and all. As her brother, she made me watch it too often. I know a lot about the ponies. More than I want to know, actually. Lawrence is right about Garth being the yellow pony, Buttershy. I feel like I'd relate to Pinky Cake. Lawrence would be Rain, Rain Boom Flash, and Dante would be Orangey Jack. What pony would I be? Ah, you'd either be Twilight Sprinkles or Flarity. I can't decide. You wanna be... I want to be the princess pony. You can't stop me from not being the princess. I can be whatever I want to be! Ugh. Lawrence says I'm like the yellow pony. I don't get it. I don't get it either, Garth. I think I might know what they're talking about, but... You yeah, I think you're fine. Uh, okay. Uh, have you girls found the game yet? Because I've just been wandering around talking to everyone, and it's just getting kind of interesting. This is the first time I've ever really used one of these magic spots. They're like scholars. 
just Emelyn and just like Emelyn in the sense that they have a whole ton of information. Emelyn is showing me the cutest moving pictures of cats. They're all so adorable. Oh my god, is that a panda? What is this amazing box that shows me pictures of cute baby animals? It's called a computer. Computer? Hmm, that seems interesting. And you say people can watch videos of everything and anything? What happens if they like, comment, and subscribe on this video? Oh, what would that do? I wonder. I should do that more for videos of adorable aff mouse. I mean kitties. Yes. Kitties. <laughs> Evelyn, can you stop this shameless self-promotion? <laughs> Call everyone together. I got the perfect game. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Spin the bottle. Oh my gosh. This is like so cliche. Did you really need to spend all that time on the internet to look this up? <laughs> How are we going to play this? Well, Dante said, I don't want to be forced to kiss any girls. We'll do a combination. Spin the bottle slash truth or dare. When the bottle lands on you, whoever spun it can give you a truth or dare. That way there's no smooching unless anyone gives that kind of dare. Ha ha ha! It's so funny! Garth was complaining about this game just before the ponies came on. So was... yeah. Um... Yeah. That's karma for you, Garth. <laughs> I'll spin first. What? Okay! Go ahead! Uh, the fate's in your favor, Nicole. Truth or dare? I'm not chicken. Dare me. Um, fine. If you're so cocky, I dare you to kiss. D but, but. Whoa. Wait. What? Really? Really, Caitlin? So soon? I designed this game to avoid that happening. <laughs> this is golden. But, Caitlin. What? Are you chicken? But what if Dante Kun wants to get married later on in the future, 15 years from now? Uh, I guess you're chicken, Nicole. No, I'm not! Come here! What?! No! Wait! No! Ah, <laughs> no! You thought you were going to get away with your lame prank calls? I know it was you! You think ponies are just a joke? Ponies are the true essence of pure evil! Ponies, commence party attack! <laughs>